May 4th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyr Pelagia of Tarsus. Saint Pelagia came from a noble family of Tarsus in Cilicia. She settled in Rome and became betrothed to one of the sons of the emperor Diocletian. Having heard of the rapid spread of the Christian faith, she sought to learn what it taught. A short time later, in a dream, she saw the bishop of Rome baptizing a great number of catechumens. He turned towards her and called her to be reborn to eternal life. When she awoke, Pelagia took leave of her parents under the pretext of going to visit her nurse, and went with haste to the bishop who baptized her. She gave her rich garments to the prelate, so that he might distribute them to the poor, and arrived at the house of her nurse, very simply dressed in, a, in the style of the common people. As her nurse would not receive her, she went home. Her mother, seeing her clothes, realized what had happened and tried to persuade her daughter to forsake Christ and to dress herself in a manner appropriate to her status. The young girl, however, remained unyielding and proclaimed that she would never abandon the spouse of her soul. Her mother informed Diocletian's son that her daughter refused his offer of marriage, and he, in desperation, committed suicide. When the emperor heard this news, he was filled with a violent rage and had the saint shut up in a red-hot bronze ox in which she accomplished her definitive union with Christ. Blessed is our God always now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy Lamb doth cry with a great voice, O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee. For thy sake I die that I may live in thee. Accept me offered out of longing, to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls through her intercessions, since thou art great in mercy. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea with dry shod feet, Israel of old vanquished the might of Amalek in the wilderness by Moses' arm stretched out in the form of the cross. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Do thou now grant me the breeze of the Spirit as I sail upon the sea of thy miracles and guide me to the calm haven of thy praises. 
O Mother of Christ, all fame Pelagia, Holy Mother Pelagia, pray to God for by us. By divine foreknowledge, thou was dedicated to thy Creator from infancy, O Honourable Maiden, and casting off the love of corruptible things, O all glorious Pelagia, thou didst manfully trample the passions underfoot by divine power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst desire to receive the labor of baptism, O Mother Pelagia, and when thou hadst found a priest of Christ, thou runs on to him, and upon partaking, Thou wast filled with divine love. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou becamest holier than the holies, O Immaculate Virgin, holding in thine arms Christ, the Holy of Holies, who with divine power encompasses all creation. Thy church rejoices in thee, O Christ our God, as she cries out in joy. Thou art my soul's steadfastness, my strength and my refuge art thou, O Lord. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Like good earth, thou didst receive rational seeds and didst cultivate them bountifully, O all wise martyr of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast directed as one elect, hastening unto the Master and God, made strong by godly teachings, O glorious martyr of Christ. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast raised up my fallen form, O August Lady, in manifestly giving birth to the cause of supernatural resurrection. O godly-minded martyr, most wise Pelagia, a flame in soul with longing for Christ thou didst bravely endure ruthless burning in a bronze ball fired exceeding hot and wast made a fragrant sacrifice to thy master wherefore on this day with joy we keep thine a holy and radiant memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Possessing thee in truth as our bold intercessor and advocate with God, O August ever virgin, we flee to thy holy church, and we all ask thy mighty help. Wherefore rescue us from all the malice of demons. Snatch us from the terrible and dread condemnation, who faithfully call thee blessed. When the church beheld thee, O Son of Righteousness, lifted up upon the cross, she stood rooted in place, crying out as is meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Clothed in the royal purple of the Master through the labor of regeneration, thou didst strip off all the delightful purple of this life, O all-glorious and all-honored Mother Pelagia, Holy Mother Pelagia, pray to God for us. Thy longing for the beauties of heaven eclipsed thine earthly longings, O prize-winner. And thou took swing unto Christ, crying out and saying, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsaking a corrupt worship, thou plainly runs to the worship of Christ, Trampling on the foot all the deceit of the idols, O inspired of God, all famed martyr Pelagia. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Without experience of wedlock, thou didst conceive, O virgin, and after giving birth, thou wast seen again to be a virgin. Therefore, with voices never silent and faith and doubting, we cry, Rejoice, O Lady! Thou art come, O my Lord, a light into the world, a holy light, turning from the darkness of ignorance those who hymn thee with faith. 
O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Laudi to veil to destroy the enemy's want and pride, O Olfem Pelagia, saved by the Master's cross and by grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now thou dost truly rejoice, O thou who art brighter than light, united to thy bridegroom, and holding the torches of martyrdom and of thy virginity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord dwell in thee, O Mother of God, forming man anew, who fell into corruption by the serpent's deceit. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus the church cries unto thee, cleansed of the blood of demons by the blood which for mercy's sake flowed from thy side. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Wedded to Christ, thou didst lawfully finish the course of martyrdom while calling upon thy bridegroom, and came to anchor in that most serene haven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A beautiful crown of righteousness has been woven for thy head, O godly-minded and crown martyr Pelagia. For thou keptst the faith in violet till the end. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of all that crooked serpent poured his poison into Eve's ears, but thou alone didst shake him off by conceiving his destroyer, O Mother of God. Words on a table to declare thy praises, O holy martyr Pelagia. For thou overflowest with a sea of miracles by the might and grace of thy bridegroom, whom do thou beseech even now that he save all those who praise thee. He The children of Abraham in the Persian furnace, a fire with the love of piety more than with the flame, cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Kindled like a furnace with divine desire for Christ, O martyr Pelagia, thou didst endure the heated instrument and didst cry, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou wast stripped naked, O glorious martyr, he that wraps the sky with clouds, made thee radiant with the divine garment as thou didst chant, Blessed are thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O sanctified and divine tabernacle of the Most High, for through thee, O Theotokos, joy is given to them that cry, Blessed are thou among women, O all immaculate lady. When Daniel stretched out his hands and the den, he shut the gaping mouths of the lions, and the children, those lovers of piety who were girt about with virtue, quenched the might of the fire as they cried, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. As a truthful martyr of Christ, O all laudable maiden, thou spakes with divine authority of his power, with a godly mind teaching all and drawing people unto true religion as they chanted, O all you works of the Lord, bless you, the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. O all of venerable Pelagia, being truly betrothed to Christ, thou made a sea of wisdom to gush forth, and didst quench all the violence of the tyrant, and with three diadems thou art adorned as thou cry. O all your works, bless you, the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We, the faithful, confess that the Son and the Holy Spirit are of the beginningless Father, as we declare that the only begotten Word, who is co-beginningless with the Father and the Divine Spirit, He was incarnate of thee, O all blameless Virgin. And we cry, all your works praise you, the Lord. When Christ, the chief cornerstone, not cut by the hand of man, was cut from thee, the unhewn mountain, O virgin, he joined together the separated natures. 
Wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos. O holy martyr Pelagia, pray to God for us. Words are not able to declare thy praises, O Pelagia, for thou overflows with the sea of miracles by the might and grace of thy bridegroom. Whom do thou beseech even now that he save all who praise thee? Holy Martyr Pelagia, pray to God for thou us. Thou hast obtained thy desire, O Pelagia, crown bearing bride. For thou hast been deemed worthy to find the highest of all that is to be desired, O Martyr, and hast received the delight of eternal enjoyment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beseech thy bridegroom to bestow peace on the world, O godly-minded martyr Pelagia, as thou guides the church from temptations and illumines with grace them that sing thy prayers. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art seen to be both virgin and mother in a manner transcending nature, O birth-giver of God, having conceived the word of God and given birth to him incarnate, wherefore, being now saved through him, we magnify thee, O Theotokos. O Lord Jesus, unto thee, thy Lamb doth cry with a great voice. O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee. For thy sake I die that I may live in thee. Accept me offered out of longing to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls by her intercessions since thou art great in mercy. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers among the saints in Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyr Pelagia of Tarsus, with the prayers of our righteous father, Hilarion the Wonderworker, with the prayers of our righteous father, Nisiphorus, abbot of the monastery of Medicium, with the prayers of our righteous father, Nisiphorus, who lived in stillness in the most desolate parts of Athos, with the prayers of our righteous father, Athanasius, bishop of Corinth, with the prayers of St. Lazarus, the friend of Christ, and the holy mother Mary Magdalene, whose holy relics have been recovered on this day, with the prayers of the Holy Fathers Aphrodisius, Leontius, Anthony, Malus, Valerian, Macrobius, and a multitude martyred with them in Scythopolis, with the prayers of St. Venarius, Bishop of Milan, with the prayers of the righteous Alphan of Brethren of Novgorod, Nikitas, Cyril, Nisiphorus, Clement, and Isaac, with the prayers of St. Athelred of Bartsny and St. Chad of Lichfield, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. He is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.